Hi everybody, my name's Dee Dee. Welcome to my big tidy up. I'm super excited you joined me today because I am super excited about this project. I'm coming to you from a little extra sitting room in my home and we call it the quiet coffee room. And I'll explain later on in the video where that name comes from. But what I want to do today is I want to redo this room and the catch is I want to do it for about $30. So what that means is I'm gonna to have to shop at home and that doesn't mean shopping on Amazon, click, click, click. What it means is I'm gonna be going to other rooms of my home, taking things that might look good in here, try to repurpose them and make them look fresh and new in a different setting. So thanks for joining me today. Let's see if I can get it done. $30, that's it. And let's get tidy. Here it is, the quiet coffee room, my project for today. I'm so excited about doing this room. We actually spend quite a bit of time in this room and it definitely needs a fresh look. We call it the coffee room, but actually it probably should be called the leftover room because it just gets things put in here that are leftovers. There's no real sense of style or design. I wanna change that today. So I'll be unloading this room. I'm gonna take all of the decor out, all of the pieces off the wall. Now the main furniture, I won't be taking out of the room. I'll just be pushing it more to the middle of the room so that I can get behind to clean those areas that haven't been touched for a long time and to do a little touch up painting on those walls because I have a feeling there's going to be some big nail holes behind all of this decor. Here's what's come out of the room so far. The only things left in the room are the main furniture pieces and there are some books and a few decor items in that lower cabinet that's in front of the window. But I'm excited about these pieces because a lot of these pieces will go to other rooms and I don't know about you guys, but when you shop at home or you redo and you take something from another room, is it just me or does it start this chain of events that then you start moving other things around in one room leads to the other room? See, I barely started this project and the wheels are already turning. That chain of events thing I was talking about, it's already happening because as I was unloading the room, I was already thinking that big silver mirror needs to go down into the den that we recently redid. I think I'll spray paint it gold to match some of my accessories and I'm already starting to move things in my mind already throughout the house and I haven't even got this room really started. Well, the nail holes are all filled and they're actually drying pretty quickly. So while we wait for these to dry, I think I'll start shopping my home a little bit more. I've got a few pieces that I picked up from Walmart and a dollar store, and I think I'm gonna look for a few items that I can add with that. But here's my blank canvas so far. 
so I picked up a wall decor item from Walmart and it was only $8 and it has brown, cream, and some light mist blue in it. And if I remember correctly, I thought I had a small pillow that went actually with a bedding set that I might be able to use for the chair and it might pull everything all together. So now I'm on the hunt. I'm looking for anything that I could use. It would be dark brown, cream, or a mist blue. The thing is, I usually keep my color palette pretty neutral and I just use pillows, candles, or little things to sit around to add color to a room. That way, when I decide to change things up, which I do quite often, it's a lot cheaper because all I have to do is just get a few pillow covers, a few new candles, just a few items to sit around, and I can completely redo a room and I didn't have a big expense. Well, I scrounged around and found a few more items, but before we get to the fun part, I need to go ahead and put some paint on this dried spackling. I'm not really a painter, so please don't score me on the quality of my work. I'm just using a Dollar Tree brush that I already had that doesn't go against my $30 budget, and I'm just using the paint that I've put in a disposable coffee cup. I find that that's really convenient, it's easy for me to hold, and when I'm cutting in on a painting project or I'm just doing touch-ups like this, it's just one and done. I can take the whole thing, cup, brush, and everything, and just dump it in the trash. Easy cleanup. And here's the answer to the question of why we call it our coffee room. The reason is, is because we have coffee in this room. This room is across from our bedroom, and instead of having to go downstairs and have coffee, we had this extra room that was a guest room that we did not need, and so we've changed it into a room and a coffee sanctuary, so to speak. And this is the coffee closet. In here is everything we would need to make a morning cup of coffee so we don't have to go downstairs and we can start our morning upstairs right across from our bedroom. There's a refrigerator, our coffee pot, and water, creamers, anything you might need to make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea right up here. And these little drapes I made just for fun. They were pillowcases that I got from a dollar store and I just pinned them together, put a little ribbon to give it a color scheme, and this is our coffee room. So that's why we call it the coffee room, is because this is the coffee closet and we have coffee up here. And one thing about this room that we've chose intentionally to do is to not have any electronics, no radio, no television, no computers, no iPads, no phones, so that when we come in here, it's a relaxing type of situation and we're not distracted. It's all about conversation and coffee. So if you have an opportunity to have a little bitty nook, you don't have to have a closet, but even a nook, I would highly recommend get yourself a coffee room. Because even if you don't like coffee, it really isn't about the coffee anyway, it's about the conversation. No edits, just real life happening right there.
sweaty. That took a little bit longer than I thought it would because I really wanted to give it a good thorough cleaning while I was up here. It wasn't that bad except for the places behind the furniture that hadn't been moved for a while. It was bad. So I wanted to vacuum the entire room, go through and get the baseboards, especially pay attention to those baseboards that were behind the furniture and it won't be touched again for who knows how long. <laughs> But I really mean it now. Now it's time for the fun part. And I'm not kidding this time. It's time for the fun part. Here's the wall hanging I was talking about from Walmart. Just a simple little piece, but it's kind of been the color scheme inspiration for the coffee room redo. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to actually take this wall hanging out of our room that's of metal and go put it in the coffee room. Because like I said before, that big mirror is going to a new place. So the mirror has made it downstairs to the den and I'm going to spray paint it the same color as the fireplace screen and then I'm going to place it over the couch which is better to scale and I'm going to take this artwork and take it upstairs to the coffee room where it probably should have been a long time ago. It's starting to come together a piece here a piece there and I think I'm going to be able to make this work. I started this project that I wouldn't be able to change the major furniture but I was gonna have to make it look a little lighter even with the dark furniture in here so what I did was I spent some of my money on these two pillows from Walmart they were $5.87 a piece and I thought the lighter taupe color might lighten the room up just a little bit I thought if I moved this lamp away from the door to the other side of the room, I might like it better and it wouldn't look so big and heavy, which it really is, but I still don't like it. So I'm going downstairs and I'm going to trade it out with this lamp right here by the bed. Now, I think this lamp is smaller. It will be better scale. And I actually think this lamp looks better down here and our guests would like that more. And it's kind of heavier furniture and it will give off a real good cozy feel. So I'm real happy with trading these two lamps. All right, I'm almost done. I've spent like 1974. So that means I would have 1026 left. Now I don't have to go spend every dime, but I'm gonna go try to because I'm looking for a basket or something I can put some extra pillows and a blanket over in the corner to kind of balance the room a little bit. And I'm not finding anything right now. So wish me luck. I'm looking for a basket for 10 bucks. Stay tuned, we'll see if I get one. Well, I'm back from my search and what I found was absolutely nothing. I couldn't find a basket or anything to go in the corner that looked nice for $10. So what we're gonna see are just a couple of pillows and a plant sitting there, but just know that in the future, my plan is to buy a dark wicker basket that's about mm, that tall that I can put some blankets and a couple of pillows in so they're out of the way and it kind of matches some of the darker wood in the room. But today's goal was not to get it completely perfect. Today's goal was to redo this room, give it a facelift, freshen it up, make it lighter, feel breezier in here for less than $30. And that goal I accomplished. I spent $19.74, so everything you're gonna see and everything I'm gonna show you came from my home and I repurposed it. And what it's done, it's got that chain of events going. So I've got new projects just waiting for me because of this project. So let's take a look and let me know what you think in the comments.
for today. We got it taken care of. I'm glad that you kept me company, and I hope this motivated you and inspired you to maybe do a little redo in your own home. Doesn't cost a lot of money, just use what you have. Repurpose it, change it around, and it'll start that snowball effect because that's what's happening to me right now. I'm already excited about the next projects, especially that mirror that's gonna be spray painted gold. I wanna thank you for stopping by today. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks for being a loyal supporter of my big tidy up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe, but if you don't, that's okay too. Just keep coming back and we'll do new things. So until I see you again, stay tidy.